Hi folks, Dave, The Honest Audio File. This is the Topping DX7 Pro Plus, and these are my Honest Audio File impressions. I want to thank Oppo's Audio for providing the Topping DX7 Pro Plus for review. Do greatly appreciate Oppo's Audio, you rock. Okay, so the Topping DX7 Pro Plus, this will set you back $700 on the Oppo's website. I do believe it is currently on sale for roughly about $595 on the Oppo's website. The DX7 Pro Plus is a collaboration between Topping and Oppo's Audio, and it has a whole plethora of technology on the inside, all kinds of um, stuff that is inside it. I'm gonna put a link on the screen, please check that out. They will explain a whole lot more than I ever could. Couple of highlights for you is, uh, hey, it's got high res sticker and high res wireless stickers, so it's gotta be good. Also, it has a, a Sabre ES9038 Pro DAC chip, and it has NFCA headphone outputs and all kinds of other information, in, including uh, power, outputs of the same for single-ended imbalanced and they are 1900 milliwatts at 32 ohms 1350 milliwatts at 64 ohms and 320 milliwatts at 300 ohm so it's not the most powerful headphone and single-ended outputs but it is nice that you do get that on both it also has high low gain and it's about 7 dB on low gain and 20 dB rise on high gain. Bunch of other information, so check out the links down below. Let's take a quick look of the device. You have a multifunction volume knob, a big huge LED screen, quarter out, 4.4 balanced out, XLR out. And then on the back side here you have your RCA and XLR outs, and then all your inputs, uh, I2S, optical, USB, coax is up here with the, I have the little blocker on it. There you go, coax, Bluetooth, and then AES. You have a 12 volt trigger, and here's your power supply in, and your power switch. I like the look of it, nice and curved, small, lays flat, and uh, it looks nice. I think I like this look from Topping. Instead of the big gold square utility, utilitarian look, I do like the curved looks a little bit more sleek. I think that looks a little bit more modern. And overall, I had no problems with connections. It, it all fit into the desk very nicely. All the cables laid flat, had no issues with them being cramped or crowded. I did try it with all the different inputs and outputs uh, that I had available which were coax, USB, and uh, I did the outputs, both XLR and RCA outs. And the nice thing about that is sonically, they sound identical. There was no differences there. And that's a nice thing. That means that the DAC and amp are doing things properly. So overall, good job. Uh, topping and oppos on what you offer i do wish i had a little bit more power as far as the output power for the headphone amps it's a little bit weak sauce especially when you get up towards 300 watts or or excuse me 300 ohms uh, it does struggle with you know anything from hd 600s and beyond it also struggles with harder demanding uh, planars and it'll drive the majority of the average user headphones. But when you start getting into those high-end, super picky, uh, fussy headphones to drive, it struggles. Nice things about the uh, DX7 Pro Plus also is you can use it as just a DAC or as a preamp. And it has fixed and variable outputs. It also has um, where you can turn off various outputs. You can make it only be a headphone output or only line out outputs, which is nice. And it has all kinds of functions about it. And it offers a lot to be in the price point of $700. But the most important thing is how does it sound? And before we get into that, I would like to thank you all that subscribe to uh, support me on Patreon and YouTube memberships. Thank you very much for everything that you provide to the channel through funding. I know these days, weeks and months have been struggling 
um, in the world. And so I do greatly appreciate you sacrificing a little bit to give to the channel. Everything that you provide goes back into the channel, whether it be gear to review, gear to use to compare, gear to uh, do the videos themselves, lighting, microphones, microphone stands, um, tripod for the camera, which is my phone, you know, things like that. Um, do greatly appreciate everything that you provided. If it wasn't for your support, this channel would struggle to make videos. So thank you very much. If you're interested in supporting the channel, please check out the links for how you can get involved with YouTube memberships or Patreon. Okay, so topping DX7 Pro Plus, how does the $700 DAC amp sound? I tried it with both RCA and XLRs. I used it going into the Headamp GSX Mini, Drop THX AAA One Linear, the IFI ICANN Signature, and the Tor Audio Roger. I also compared it to various other DACs. I compared it to the MyTech Liberty DAC 2, which is my go-to reference. I also compared it to the AUN X1S GT and the IFI Audio IDSD Signature and also the Odyssey Deckard. Headphones that I used it on were a, a plentiful. Anything from the Odyssey LCD 5s, Ross and Red Zeros, Mr. Speaker's Ether C's, Hi-Fi-Man Aria Stealth, Hi-Fi-Man Ananda, Hi-Fi-Man Sundora, Sennheiser 8XX, Sennheiser 660S 600s, and um, the Rode NTH 100s, and many more. Also used it with a CTM DaVinci 10, M512D from ADV, the C Audio Bravery, Moondrop Kato, and a whole lot other uh, IEMs. So I, I, I used it and tested it on all sorts of gear. And what I found was that the Topping DX7 Pro Plus really is just a Miller DAC. And it does things properly when it comes to tone and timbre. It's tonally balanced. It does a good job keeping everything sounding accurate and true. There's really nothing to talk about that really stands out. It's just kind of one of those DACs. But the thing that does stand out, and this is key to it, and it is that it's boring. It's it's one of the most boring decks that I've heard. It just adds no emotion. It has no connection to the music. I I can sit and listen to the DX7 Pro Plus for hours and be bored stiff. It just, just adds no connection to the music whatsoever. And then I can take the exact same songs, the exact same music and play it on any of the other DACs that I have on my desk. And all of a sudden a smile will come on my face and I'll start toe tapping and I'll get excited. And it, it's connecting with me. The topping DX7 Pro Plus is just a just boring as all get out. It lacks naturalism. It just lacks emotion and connection to the music. And that's really sad. Oh, oh, but it's got tube sound. It's got valve sound. Oh, it's got transistor mode. Oh, it's got PCM filters. It's got DSD filters. You need to change all that, Dave. So I did. And yeah, I didn't hear anything. Um, if the differences were there, they were so subtle that I didn't hear anything. And so I went back to the amp, the DAC amp that I have that has filters, the IFI IDSD signature. Now, granted it's three, four times the price. I get that. But guess what? I heard differences when I put it on tube mode, hybrid mode, it became warmer, lusher a little more analog sounding and it was a, a connection and an emotion and I heard it and I felt it went to the AUN X1S GT and guess what? I heard it and felt it when I changed the filters. There's a difference in those DACs. You can hear it. And also all of them connect you with the music. And this does not. 
I changed all of the filters. I, I went through them. I made sure of it. And then when I didn't really hear a difference, I asked Oppos about it. I was like, Oppos, hey, um, am I doing something wrong here? Am I, it, it, you know, is, is there something that needs to be done differently? What, what can help me to be able to hear these differences? And they admitted it. Uh, I don't hear the difference either. Okay, it's one of the selling points of your device that it has tube valve sound and it has transistor sound or you can go plain Jane. Guess what? It sounds plain Jane. And unfortunately, it's as boring as all get out. I don't understand why you offer and you tote this in your high, you, you tout this in your highlights of the product that it will change it and it will sound like it has a tube in it. It will sound like it's all transistor and it doesn't, nothing changes. $700. Oh, sure. It's on sale for $595. Oh, okay. Guess what? This is 300 and you hear a difference and guess what? Compared to the two, I would take the AUN. It sounds better even in regular old mode over the DX7. It has emotion. It has connection. It has a more natural and accurate sound. The AUN X1S is the better value. You might not get as much power from the headphone amp as you do the DX7 Pro Plus, but you get a better sound. DX7 Pro Plus is overrated and overpriced. As is. If you're going to use it as a DAC amp, it's way overpriced for what it offers. Using it as an amplifier only, eh. Using it as a DAC only, eh. But it's still overpriced in all of those. The AUN X1S at $300 is a way better value. And sounds better. I had high hopes for this one. And if you like just the plain old meh type of sound, bored, stiff, just no engagement whatsoever, there you go. But if you want a little bit of enjoyment, a little bit of sparkle and a little bit of energy and a, a little bit of just natural sound, save yourself $400 and get yourself an AU and X1S GT. It's been Dave, the Honest Audio File. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video. Speaking of next video, somewhere on screen, subscription links, notification bells. If you haven't already, please check those off. And then don't forget to give a thumbs up or a thumbs down to the video and check out all the links down below. There's all kinds of information down there regarding how you can contact channel, follow channel, support the channel, all that kind of stuff is down below along with gear recommendations and music recommendations and tier lists and all kinds of other things are down below. So check out the links and don't forget to enjoy the music and that honesty is the best policy.